Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the free crochet pattern of the week. Yay! <laughs> the next four weeks I plan on doing holiday patterns and look what I found. Oh my gosh, I did a Google search of free crochet patterns and I found a pattern of mine. A pattern I totally forgot about, but Red Heart didn't forget. And this pattern is um, on redheart.com and it is the Santa hat and beard. And I had totally forgotten about this pattern, but I designed it a few years ago. Um, when Red Heart asked me to come up with a pattern for the holidays. And so this is a crocheted Santa's hat and beard. So it's an intermediate um, skill level, but really the hard part is the beard. So if you just want the hat, the hat is very easy. So you don't have to do both. You can do just the hat or you can um, do the hat and beard together. So um, if you want just a hat, it's perfect for that. But if you like the fun, fuzzy beard, then um, that's available too. So let me do a little bit more of a close up for you here. Sorry about the uh, lighting here. I am working on alternate places to film where I can keep all the pets happy. Hobie is on my left and he's not barking, so that's a plus. <laughs> We're getting through it. We might actually get back on track now. So the Santa hat and beard pattern um, designed by me a few years ago. The hat measures 22 inches circumference and it's made out of super saver. So you might be able to, you know what, and it says burgundy on the pattern. It's, um, burgundy and soft white is on the pattern. So those are the colors. So you could also um, substitute it for more of a cherry red, but this is actually burgundy in the Red Heart Super Saver. So you need a J size hook and a yarn needle. And if you're gonna do the beard, you need four locking stitch markers that will help you um, mark the placement of where the beard will be. So some of the skills involved and with this pattern, I've already shown you on the channel, so you can go to um, the special stitches or the, the how-to playlist. I forget even what it's called now. It's just um, the skill, so single crochet two together or single crochet decrease, the same thing. It's single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease. Both terms mean the same thing, So, and the descriptions are here in the pattern. And then the shell specifically for this pattern is for the beard and I think on the pom-pom part of the hat. And the shell is um, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Is um, Remember, shell is a generic word and you should always look at the special abbreviations for the, each pattern to see what components make up a shell for that pattern. And then reverse single crochet because you know, hey, that's a lot of fun. And I know I've done, I've taught you how to make that before. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. And like I said, the hat itself is a very beginner hat. And then the beard is a little bit more complicated and tricky. And so that's why the whole pattern isn't intermediate, but you totally can do it. And I hope that you'll give it a try. So the full instructions are attached and I don't think there's any other stitches that you need to know. Mostly single crochet and some chain. So you can totally do it. The hat is very, very easy and it is worked from um, the brim up to the crown. So it's um, you can like almost try it on immediately. And so if you need more stitches to make it bigger, then you can either go up a hook size if you need bigger than 22 inches circumference, or if you need smaller than 22 inches circumference, what I would suggest is go ahead and make the hat as, as specified. And then on the um, white brim part, you can tighten it up if need be. Now, that's not gonna work if you need like a 16 inch hat, but if you need something slightly smaller, then that works. So I hope you enjoy the Santa hat and beard pattern for this free crochet pattern of the week. 
And I will link in the description box where to get the pattern so that you can go make your Santa hat and beard <laughs> crocheted pattern and be ready for um, this holiday. I admit most of the patterns that I'm going to do in the next four weeks are Christmas related um, just because Christmas is a big deal in our home and maybe it is in yours as well. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed this free crochet pattern of the week. And I hope you stick around because I've got no more patterns for free crochet pattern of the week for the next four weeks. And I've got some tutorials coming up, more spoilers for the book hopefully soon. So stay tuned and we will um, get through this holiday season together. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.